and results software works. Now this works in conjunction obviously with Australian Race Rater. Now after the, you've saved the ratings for the day and say it's in the evening or the next day, you can easily get all the results and prices um, just by running this software. So the first thing you need to do is bring up the browse file and go to where you've got the greyhounds from, where you've kept the greyhounds from the day before or, or the results that you want to get. Now you must do it in this format. You can see there the year slash the day slash the date hyphen. I mean that's how the format, you must keep it in that format and it's a CSV file. So you just click on that and click on open. Now if you want all the win dividends uh, for the dogs, then leave that ticked and I suggest you leave it ticked because if you're looking for patterns in that, obviously the pricing is a um, one of the factors that you want to consider. So all we do then is we push start and you can see there it says it's starting to read the CSV values. Don't touch anything. It's just creating some files now and this uh, looks at one of the TABs in Australia and gets their dividends and their pricing. So it's a, it's a guide as to what's happening. It's already done now and I think in this case it's done about eight or nine meetings. So all we need to do now is close that off and go back out. We'll first go in here, Steve uh, documents. And this is the CSV file that we originally, that the original software created to have all the selections and ratings in. This has opened that and now it's added the prices and the placings into it. So let's go and have a look. Okay, what we've got here now is the CSV file. And if we come up here now, you can see um, it's added, these are the columns it's added. It's added the dividends, so it'll give you the price of every greyhound that raced yesterday. In this case, it'll give the price that they finished with on the TAB, the result, the win dividend, and the place dividend. So if we look at the first race here, uh, Sandown, we can see here's the, here's the rate rankings, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And these are the length differences. So in this first race at Sandown, we can see here that there was only one length difference. We can see our top rated dog was paying $10, didn't run anywhere. The second rated, which was a length behind it, was uh, around second. But the good thing with the software is that you can look at things that you want to look at, like, for example, let's have a look at like we say in the, uh, in the video above, we're looking at the dogs that are three lengths better. So if we go to this race here, we can see the top rated dog. The top rated dog will always have zero because there's obviously um, no one in front of it. And the second dog there, rated number two, is 3.12 lengths. So if we get the highlight button, you can just go through quickly and say, okay, that was a, that was a pick there. If we just move this one over a bit more and we can just scroll down you can see that there's only less than a length difference there so we wouldn't mark that one this is just an example of what you can do with this the next race there you can see there's only a quarter of a length difference so you wouldn't mark that one the next race here we can see there was three lengths difference which is oh sorry this one here i missed seven lengths difference so we just highlight that you can see there that the dog Dog ran third, paid a uh, dollar sixty for the place. Next race is three links difference, so we highlight that. That would be another selection. We can see it ran first and paid two two point seven or or one point six for the place. Okay, another one there. There's only one point two two links, so we wouldn't register this one. This one here, there's eight links difference between the first rated and the second rated. So you just highlight that. So what you're looking for is you're just doing research here to see where maybe you can um, get, you know, get the results and see if you can see patterns emerging. We can see there's only two links difference there. This race here, only one length difference. This race here, five links difference. So you'd highlight that. You can see there the greyhound runs second. This one here, the six links difference. 
But another thing that um, worth noting here is that if we just move over here, oh, I'll get it right yet. If we just move over a bit, this dog here, that's eight links difference. We can see there, there's the top rated dog and the second rated dog, there's eight links difference. But if we scroll over here to the top rated dog, it's only had one start. So in a case like a race is like that, where there's only been one or two starts, and we can see the rest of the field have had no form. These are the sort of races, like maiden races and, and early early um, grade one races and stuff like that. These are um, not grade one, sorry, grade five, which is just uh, above maiden. These are the races that you've got to be very careful on the ratings because of the form. There's very little form in that race. So you get the idea here of what what you can do with the with the results rating uh, with the results scanner and you do get that free um, at for the first next uh, 50 buyers we'll get that free with Australian Greyhound Raider okay on behalf of Dave and myself Steve thanks for watching this video and we hope you enjoy Australian Greyhound Raider thank you